Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, upkatla, I feel sad, and all of those things. Today is a new Worthy Wednesdays video uh, and we're going to focus on language. Now, language is something that it's hard to acquire because it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of exposure. And that is the reason why we're starting out this series with this list. Ano tong list na to? This is the list of the movies that I recommend that you watch, which can be really helpful for you sa developing ninyo ng language skills. Now, why am I putting up a list of movies? Why can't you just watch any movie that you want? Ang reason talaga for that is kasi movies do take a lot of time for you to watch. Minsan one hour and a half mahigit sila. And if you don't pick out the right kind of movie, you will end up just watching a movie and not learning anything from it. If you know any of the Transformers films, for example, you don't really get Get that much of a vocabulary to undo sa movie na yon, kasi maybe half or a little bit less than half of the movie ay action scenes lang at explosions. So kahit i on yung subtitle ang lalagay lang don, may lalagay lang don would be loud explosion, okay? Okay, gunfire, mga ganon. So hindi masadong mabi build up yung vocabulary ninyo. So what are the movies na sa tingin ko, okay? And hinan pick ko ito na makakatulong sa inyo, na magiging interesting and still stimulating for you. Ito yung bibigay ko sa inyong list. Okay? So, just a piece of advice before I go into the list of the 10 movies that I'm going to give out to you today. Ang um, so, suggestion ko would be find a proper uh, copy of the movie when you buy your DVD. Mas maganda kung original. Marami na rin namang sale ngayon. And mas maganda rin talaga if you have your subtitles on. So, make sure na subtitles ay tama. And danger kasi if you buy pirated movies or if you don't get a proper subtitle for your movie ay wrong spelling yung subtitle so hindi rin siya makakatulong sa inyo. Mas maganda if tama yung subtitle niya. Okay? And then, makakatulong to sa inyo kasi when you hear the word, you will see the word and you will also know kung kailan ginamit yung word. So for example, if you... Um, see a word like conflagration you would see you would hear the word for conflagration you would uh, see it on the screen kung paano siya nakaspell and you would also remember kung kailan siya ginamit so for example nagtatalo-talo sila sa isang board meeting doon ginamit yung conflagration your brain would be wired to know na ang conflagration would be not a very good thing negative thing siya kasi nag-aaway-aaway sila nung minention yon. So those will help you when it comes to association para pag nakita yung word na yun sa exam alam mo na may negative connotation yung word na yun and then you can start guessing, okay? So, yun yung aking advice. Now, let me give you a quick rundown na of the movies na ibibigay ko sa inyo. These are 10 movies. I had a really hard time picking out uh, these 10 from all of the movies that I've seen in my life, okay? I really, really love movies. I used to have my own movie review website. I just stopped making video um, making video reviews and I stopped making uh, articles kasi wala na akong time. But, Itong 10 na to, iba-iba yung genre, iba-iba yung klase. Hopefully, may, makakuha kayo na something that would keep you interested and uh, na makakatulong sa inyo. At hopefully, hindi nyo pa napapanood. Alrighty! So, let's start and I will give you the list of the 10 movies that I recommend that you watch. Now, itong 10 movies na ito, magkakaiba ng genre, magkakaiba ng storylines, magkakaiba rin ng period of time kung kailan siya sila ginawa, pero I hope na makatulong to sa inyo. Hopefully rin, dahil magkakaiba sila, some of these movie, movies ay hindi nyo pa napanood. Okay? So, number one na movie is Stardust. Stardust was actually uh, one of the movie, uh, movies din, or movie adaptations din ng book na na-mention ko na before kasi naging part na ng reading list natin ng Team Like a Book Club yung Stardust by Neil Gaiman. And if you haven't seen this yet, I recommend that you go and watch it. It's really a light movie. Uh, Halo-halo siya. May romance, may action, may adventure, may fantasy. Pero more than that, it's a hero's journey and it's something that I hope would motivate you to come out of your shell, diba? venture out of your uh, comfort zone and emer emerge as a better man or woman. So again, Stardust by uh, Neil Gaiman. The book was turned into a movie and I recommend that you go ahead and watch that. Hindi din naka nakatulong din sa akin na super crush ko kasi yung lead character dyan. Okay? So, siya si Daredevil ngayon sa series ng Marvel pero before... Yan siya. Itang cute-cute niya talaga dyan sa movie na yan. Okay? Number two movie that I recommend that you watch. It's not a really new movie. It's actually a little old and... Um, uh, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun ay um, nabawasan ang kanyang potency. Okay? This movie was something I watched when I was younger. 
VHS pa yan. Okay, hiniram ng dad ko sa Video City yung mga ganong klaseng mga uh, sitwasyon. Okay, or nung bata pa kami. VHS yan na inuwi, tapos nung pinanood namin, really changed my life. Ganon siya kablaking klase ng movie. Um, nung pinanood namin yan ng, ng twin sister ko, we couldn't stop talking about it. And every time din na nasa TV din siya, kasi minsan napapalabas din siya sa TV, we stay up and still watch that. Okay? It's also part of my personal movie collection and um, lagi ko yung pinapanood pag nandiscourage ko. This movie is a league of their own. Now, if you are a woman like me, lalo na if you're a young woman, this is going to be really fun for you. Um, meron siyang very ano na siya yung tinatawag ng mga bata ngayon na woke okay kahit na it's a really old movie ang story nito is about a group or a team of baseball baseball players na women na kinocoach sila ni Tom Hanks who um, played baseball kasi nung time na yun nasa war yung mga men and in order for them to kind of keep yung baseball traditions going they launched a league for women and itong team na to sila Gina Davis you have Madonna you have um, mga conflicts regarding sisterhood okay and you have yung competition amongst women you have yung um, team on teamwork and importance ng teamwork all of those things wrapped up in one movie that's the sports movie yes and even if hindi kayo mahilig sa sports you would learn to appreciate this movie so a league of their own that's my second movie third movie is pride and prejudice now pride and prejudice is actually still a book it's a movie adaptation of a book by Jane Austen um, but the thing with pride and Pre prejudice is hindi siya masyadong threatening Lalo na if you have your subtitles turned on, it's a little daunting siguro if hindi kayo sanay uh, to watch yung mga movies na may uh, British or English accent uh, dahil yun yung accent na ginagamit sa movie na ito. Pero this movie is really short naman at saka maganda naman yung story arc and it doesn't help, uh, it doesn't hurt na attractive naman yung mga leads dito sa movie na ito. I think you will find this interesting. There is actually a more uh, parang in-depth look at the book and mas mahaba na series. It's actually a mini-series from BBC na ang bida is, I think, si Colin Firth. Pero itong Pride and Prejudice sa movie uh, can also be good for you. Ang lead dito is, was Kira Knightley when she was really young. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and watch that video. Marami kayong mapupulot na words din dyan. Yung mapapa, ha? Ano ba yung word na yun? And uh, makakatulong yun sa inyo. So the fourth movie that I want to recommend to you guys is something that also changed my life. This was uh, the movie that helped me make the decision to go into teaching. Okay? Because years back, nung hindi pa ako nagtuturo sa college, um, when I was presented with the option kung magtuturo ako hindi, um, parang na uh, kabangga ako ole itong movie na to. Ito yung movie na nagtumulong sa akin na mag-decide to be a teacher. And if I want a good cry, kung gusto kong maiyak, gusto kong ma-motivate, gusto kong ma-touch, um, ito yung movie na pinupuntahan ko. Okay? And this is not a really new movie. It's actually a classic na. But uh, it's really exciting. If you want to see the younger versions nila Ethan Hawke and a bunch of uh, the actors na meron tayo ngayon, um, you can go ahead and watch this movie. It also has a very good performance, a really awesome performance from the late, great Robin Williams. And... Um, this movie really changed my life. So, I owe a lot of who I am today din sa movie na ito. Itong movie na ito ay ang Dead Poets Society. Okay? So, it's something that would get you passionate about uh, sharing what you know, passionate about reading, passionate about literature, and uh, also about taking a stand about the things that you care about. So, if you haven't seen that movie yet, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch The Dead Poets Society. Bonus dun sa mga tao na magre-research about the excerpts, the poems, the books na minention dun sa movie na yon. If you haven't read those books yet, if you haven't uh, read the poems yet na minention dun, go ahead and um, research them dun. So, oh captain, my captain, Mr. Robin Williams, uh, you are missed. Next movie that I want to talk about is a little off when it comes to sa sa genre. I'm not really big into horror movies, but I know some of you are. If there's a thriller, it's not really a horror movie. It does use horror elements, pero na itong, itong movie na to was something that I managed to finish 
by myself, okay? Tip lang, if matalote kayo like me, don't watch it by yourself and don't watch it sa kwarto ninyo pag gabi na baka hindi kayo makatulog. Ang movie na sinasabi ko ay yung The Cabin in the Woods. This was something by Joss Whedon na idol na idol ko din when it comes to writing and directing. And he made this movie na para siyang, um, ano ba, analysis, okay? A bit of a satire din when it comes to yung horror genre. So, in Cabin in the Woods, if you're expecting na parang katulad lang siya ng mga movies like Halloween or uh, yung mga sila Freddy and Jason or something like that, may, pagka, may pagkaganon siya, pero it's more than that. So, nakakagulat yung ending at maganda yung story arc, maganda yung dive niya into human behavior. It's something na, yun yung titira sa utak ninyo, mapapaisip ko pa rin even after. I really love this movie. It also has a Thor in the movie, so... Kung gusto ninyo ng onting eye candy, meron pa rin doon. Although, uh, it's more than that. Okay? So, if you want something to think about, something to analyze, something to discuss with your friends, go ahead and watch The Cabin in the Woods. Next movie that I want to recommend to you guys is Remember the Titans. If you haven't seen this movie yet, go ahead and watch it. This is, is featuring si Denzel Washington and a bunch of young actors nung time na yun, pero hindi na sila masyadong young ngayon. Magugulat na lang kayo sa kung sino yung mga nandoon. Hindi ko na sasabihin sa inyo, magugulat na lang kayo. Okay? But it features really young actors na very well acted talaga yung movie na ito. Ang ganda rin ang storyline niya. It is a sports movie, but it's not just for people who love sports. It's more of um, a look into racism, discrimination, and what it means to be a family even if you're not brothers or sisters when it comes to blood. So, ang ganda nung movie na ito, very inspiring din talaga siya. Go ahead and watch it. Remember the uh, Titans, okay? Next movie that I want you to kind of um, take a closer look into is The Last Five Years. Now, The Last Five Years is a movie musical. And like I said, tatalon tayo ng genre dito. It's one of my favorites. Um, although, hindi ako masyadong fan ng voice ni Anna Kendrick, pero this is one of the best, okay, one of the best na movie adaptations ng musical so far. It features Anna Kendrick and Jer Jeremy Jordan. Sobrang galing ni Jeremy, Jeremy Jordan dito. And sobrang emotional nung shots. And uh, this movie got me singing uh, yung buong soundtrack niyan for the next few months after ko siyang napanood. Inabangan ko talaga sa theaters and I cried and laughed throughout the entire time. Pero, um, itong disclaimer lang na ito, if ba kaka-break mo lang, baka hindi itong magandang movie for you, baka hindi ka maka-recover ka iya. Kasi first shot pa lang ng movie na to, it really grips you dun sa pagkakakanta at pagkakashoot pagkaka nung scene na yun. Pero if you're ready to get your heart broken and then mended right away, go ahead and watch the last five years. Next movie that I want to recommend is an animated movie. Um, so, hindi na... Frozen or anything like that kasi masyado nang sikat yung Frozen and the others, no? And this movie is actually uh, parang para siyang marketed towards kids pero hindi din talaga siya for kids lang. Makakakuha kayo ng maraming lessons dito and mga, ano ka rin, makakakuha ka rin ng motivation when it comes to defining your identity and uh, looking for people who will um, build you up. Ito yung movie na Rise, Rise of the Guardians. Okay? So, it's not a very famous animated movie. Siguro kasi nung time na na-release ito, marami siyang kasabay na magaganda rin. Pero, uh, ang ganda ng movie na ito, ang daming lessons kayo makukuha. And, it's also a very good pick-me-up if you feel na parang lost ka sa life or na wala ka masyadong plano, wala ka motivation. How can you turn bad things into good things? This is a good movie to watch. Okay? Next movie na pag-uusapan natin, second to the last movie na i-recommend ko sa inyo for this video, uh, ito yung Ruby Sparks. Okay? If mahilig kayo sa rom-com, pero medyo sawa na kayo dun sa girl meets boy, may meet cute, tapos may onting conflict, tapos maghahabulan sa airport. If ayaw ninyo ng mga ganong klaseng movie at nagsawa na kayo dun, if you want something that would get your mind to thinking, go ahead and watch Ruby Sparks. Okay? This movie was released really short lang, one week lang siya dito sa Philippines, and bihira yung kilala ko na napanood siya sa theater. Pero, this movie really, really helped me kind of open my eyes when it comes to the idea of love then and finding love, and putting up a standard ng kung ano yung tao na gusto mong makasama. So, ang ganda nung idea nito, hindi ko spoil yung plot ng movie. Basically, ang Ruby Sparks is a uh, a kind of a love story between a writer and a very quirky woman. 
Okay, played, played by Zoe Kazan. So actually, a bit of a trivia, yung couple dito sa movie na to are, were real life couples. And uh, very well acted to movie na to. Ang ganda. May core lang ng characters, hindi masyado marami ang characters, pero nag-dive siya deep into character development. So we'll get to know Ruby Sparks if you watch the movie. Go ahead and watch this. Okay? So drum roll please. Ito yung ating first na uh, video sa list. Drum roll. Okay? Ang ating number one na movie na gusto kong panoorin yun, I recommend that you watch, is About Time. If hindi nyo pa napanood yung movie na yan, it's About Time that you watch it. Okay? Bakit? Kasi itong movie nila to is actually part of my tradition, my New Year tradition. And ginawa ko na rin part ng New Year tradition ng mga kapatid ko kasi I force them to watch this. Uh, every New Year, and kahit mid-year, yung... Mga times na parang you have to make important decisions in your life, I watch this movie. About Time is the story of a young man, played by the great Domhnall Gleeson, na super crush ko rin. You would find na yung mga crush ko hindi necessarily so sobrang guapo, medyo quirky lang a bit, no? So, pero Domhnall is my favorite redhead, okay? And um, ang kapartner niya dito is Rachel McAdams na leading lady ng lahat, okay? Pero itong movie na to, akala mo love story lang siya, pero it's really more than that. It's about valuing the time that you have, about uh, changing your perspective when it comes to what matters more in life. And it's about family, it's about many forms of love, and ito yung movie na yung after mo siya mapanood, you would, it would leave you thinking about your own life, about your decisions, it will help you set yung tamang perspective when it comes to planning out your life. So, I recommend that you go ahead and watch About Time. Okay? So, those are the first 10 na videos that I recommend that you watch. I hope that you uh, find time to look for them and watch them and please let me know uh, kung ano ang uh, feedback nitong mga movies sa inyo. I would love to hear back from you. So, how about you guys? If you have any movies din na feeling niyo makakatulong or na gusto niyo or na nirecommend niyo rin that I watched, maybe I haven't watched it yet, don't forget to comment down below. I would love to watch those and maybe include them sa list ng mga i-recommend kong videos next time. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon para wala kayo ma-miss. Like this video if you liked it. Share this with your friends, lalo na kung mag exam din sila, baka masakaling may mga papulot din sila dito. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Aja Aja, never stop learning. And bye for now.